Welcome back, y'all, to Sussa Circle Live. Experts agree that full healthy hair is a sign of good nutrition, but what are some foods we can eat to help keep our locks long, healthy, and shiny? Here to tell us is registered nurse turned natural hair guru, yes. Monique Rodriguez. Yay! Thank you. Monique Child, I say you're sharp. Thank you're cleaning you. in the board of health down here <laughs> to the circle. Thank you. Now, Monique. You have nine years of experience as a nurse. Yes, correct. Um, in addition, um, in addition to being a, a my, the the owner and CEO of Myo Organics, yes. which is a product that I use, Chow, and I love the gummies. The hair growth Thank gummies you. are the bomb, and they taste amazing. Thank you. What's the number one issue that Black women have with their hair as far as nutrition is concerned? So the number one issue that African Americans have in mm -hmm. our culture is growth and moisture. Mm -hmm. um, and we're always conscious about what we put on our hair, right? So we're yeah. always applying all these things to our hair on yes. the outside, but we're not conscious of what we put on the inside of our body. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to focus on like the superfoods that yeah. are actually help with growth and moisture as well. So these foods here, not only can you put on your hair, uh -huh. but you can also consume these foods that help with retaining moisture and growth because the key to length retention like you can grow your hair but if you grow your hair and it breaks it's null and void right, right? so you want to keep your hair moisturized so these foods are key for moisture for hair growth um, so for instance honey and these are items that you can just grab out of your cabinet yes. you know go to the grocery store grab these items but honey is a great humectant it's an antioxidant mm -hmm. um, you can actually consume honey you can put it in your tea yeah. it's great for improving circulation to the scalp mm -hmm. it strengthens the follicles it's great for growth so you can put it on your you hair can, too you can Drink it in your tea, you can put it on your hair. But mm -hmm. So I would recommend if you use honey, you can mix it with some oil, okay. apply it to your hair, let it sit, and uh -huh. rinse it out. Make okay. sure you rinse it out. Okay. And you'll notice that your hair will be like moisturized, it'll have shine, um, and it's great for growth. Now, is it possible for everyone to grow waist length hair? Because let me tell you something, this is all of your hair. Yes, it's all of mine, honey. My God, yes. my God. Yes. <laughs> when I tell yes. you, she can sell it for a coin. Yeah, and so that's the thing, like we always say that black Black hair can't grow, right? right? You know, don't get confused. The last name is Rodriguez. I'm married, I but know, that's I'm right. black. And your Hello, hair somebody. can't grow. <laughs> get the people told. <laughs> Okay, yes. pomegranate, which is one of my favorite, favorite Fruits. things to eat, yeah. so yes. So pomegranate, I love pomegranate. You know, it's great for strengthening the hair as well. Mm. And pomegranate is great to control dry and frizzy hair. It actually seals the cuticle to prevent frizz. Wow. So I love using pomegranate in my products because it's great for not only growth, but also mm -hmm. moisture and helping prevent frizz. And you can eat it and get the same, same. You can eat it and yes, it's a, a superfood. So you get all okay. that nutrients from eating it as well. Okay. And then ginger powder, you know, yes. ginger powder is great for a lot of things, but one of the good things that it's great for is preventing hair loss. Right. Um, ginger, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, it's an antiseptic, so it's also great for preventing dandruff. So if you have dandruff buildup, if you have flakes in your mm. scalp, ginger helps prevent that because it's an antiseptic. Now, is it does it matter if it's organic or non-organic? Because you know sometimes when you're in the store and it's or it's the cheaper kind, it might yeah. not be as potent. So I mean, obviously, I'm just clean in what I eat, so mm -hmm. I prefer the organic. But yeah. you know. It's personal preference right. and also economic preference as well. Now, can you shave um, you fresh, can, fresh yeah, ginger? You can also shave fresh ginger. Um, you know, it doesn't have a great taste, but if you mix some ginger and honey put in your tea, mm. very effective. Okay. It masks that taste. And then salmon is another food. That's yeah. it's one of my favorite foods. I yeah. make sure I eat it at least once a week because yes. it's filled with fatty acids, omega mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. which is great for adding shine to mm -hmm. the hair. So you make sure that you get your salmon. serving of sal mm -hmm. salmon every week. It's yes. like my favorite food to eat. Yes. Um, and then last but not least, avocado. Yes. Avocado is one of the best moisturizers for our hair. Yeah. It's filled with vitamin B. It's filled with yes. vitamin E. And vitamin E is a healing property. Yes. So it's great for repairing the hair so it's good to eat avocado has so many different vitamins yes. and nutrients for the hair but also you can mix your avocado you can mix your honey you can put your ginger mix All it and make a concept. hair mask put it on your hair as a conditioner rinse it out and go now when you let's say you wanted to do all that and make and create yes. a mask would you need to use a clarifying shampoo to get that out or a moisturizing shampoo will suffice? So I would say a clarifying because okay. you want to get all of that, you know, because 
if you don't mash the avocado right, right. it'll get stuck in your hair. Right. So you want to make sure that you, you're getting all of that out. Okay. So you can use a clarifying shampoo to get it out. Um, and I would recommend if you do this, you can sit with it for like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it can really be effective. Okay. Well, you know what? You're also doing some other things with your My Glow Awards yes. and your Maya Organics Foundation. So yes. talk to us about that and what, what the initiative for that is. Yeah. So the My Glow Awards, we actually partnered with iGlow Mentoring because mm -hmm. I believe that given my platform, God gave it to me for a reason, right? Amen. Amen. Um, <laughs> okay. And so who much is given, much is required. So yes. I feel that I want to give something to young girls that I didn't have growing up. Yes. So we're taking 21 inner city girls mm -hmm. to London for wow. an educational experience. Yes, and it's all about exposure. It's all about giving them that education. Mm -hmm. You know, you get so much exposure when you travel. Yes. Um, and I didn't travel out the country until I was in my 30s. Yes. So I want to give these young girls that probably haven't been out of their city that they grew up in mm -hmm. the opportunities to just have life and just be exposed to so much because it comes with the experience. And right. this is something that these young girls, they're never going to forget. They're always going to remember this experience. Yes. So. Well, I'm, I'm just loving what you're doing and I'm so thankful that you you have this product. I love this product. I use Thank this you. product. Thank you so much. And if you want more information on the MyGlow Awards, go to myglowawards.com.